So we're back here at Long Hairs HQ. I look super dialed thanks to the homegirl Shelby over at the Lions Main Grooming Co. here in San Diego. I'm gonna touch on that other 30% that I mentioned in the beginning. And honestly, it's more like 80-20. She takes care of the 80, I get home, I only have to handle the 20. We're gonna talk about maintaining our long hair and our long beard, your maximum flow in between trips to the barber. And so part of that 20 really comes down to four items in my opinion. Washing and grooming. You know, getting too hot when you have just buckets of hair coming out. Mask problems for guys with the beard. If you have a big beard like I do, you know exactly what I'm talking about already. Some basic general care tips. I'm talking about products. All right, boys, here we go. Washing and maintaining your maximum flow in between trips to the barber. When I look at my beard, I think like, well, my beard, honestly, the hair is longer here than most guys have here. I think of my beard as like a net that just catches just debris and just everyday stuff. I'm walking down the street and I got the pollution getting caught in here. And much like your head, the shampoo is gonna clean the base of the hair, get all that muck out there, all that sebum, all that stuff that builds up. We're really helping keep this hair healthy, keep it hydrated. As far as grooming goes, you know, once in a while, I'll give myself a once over, look for any split ends. Split ends are like a weed. They're just gonna keep getting worse and worse. And then eventually you might actually have to cut a sizable chunk of your beard out. So it's better to just get them before they get out of control. Outside of that, it's as simple as just give yourself a once over with a nice comb. You want them to get in there. You know, this is, there's, there's not a lot of space here, right? And obviously there's significantly less hair than up here. We comb it out. We're spreading that natural sebum, our natural oils into our beard. We're helping it stay nice and hydrated and healthy. I mean, having a lot of facial hair is pretty hot, especially in the summer months. When you have that coupled with maximum flow, is i.e. having the hair on the back of your head, the back of your head is insulated with hair and the front of your neck is insulated with hair. And so that causes us to sweat and we get the sweat in there and it just gets out of control. I just like to use a hair tie and obviously not in the front, but I tie up my hair in the back. You take your, your hair tie. I brought Neo Geo out for y'all today. I'm just gonna do a quick messy low ball. Now my hair is up, right? And you would think like, well, of course, dummy, you just did a low ball. Why are you teaching us this? Well, when you get that nice cool air coming in, you're really preventing that greasy face from just getting all up in your beard. Under these lights, it's pretty hot in here. <laughs> so I immediately feel that relief. Masks are just a huge problem. They wreck our beard, it's hot in there, we sweat, it gets greasy. It damages our hair and it shapes our hair in a way that we definitely don't want, especially your mask hooks under the chin. It creates what I call chin bump. It just, it looks terrible. How do we mitigate that? When we were with Shelby, she took the brush and she rolled out my beard and she was blow drying it. So she's essentially training my hair it hangs straight down instead of rounded. It's a super easy process. You just need, obviously, a brush, ideally a blow dryer. Especially if you got a longer beard like I do, it makes a humongous difference, boys. Just miscellaneous tips, helping you keep your beard nice and dialed. Our hair is a part of our identity, so uh, for me personally, I'm not saying go and just you know throw buckets of cash out to buy these products, but as far as stuff that is tried and true and really does work, you always want a nice beard oil, right? That's, a pretty, that's kind of a staple of having a beard. Not naming any names, but I will say there is a company out there that may or may not have some beard products that might suit all your grooming needs pretty soon. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you turn on those post notifications so you know when that company might drop those things. Just like the hair on your head, the hair on your face varies from person to person. So you really gotta feel it out. Just start light and then just increase it as you feel is necessary. You don't want soaking wet hair. So like not right out of the shower because naturally oil and water don't mix. So if your hair is just dripping wet and you put the oil in there, the oil is not gonna get in. So what you want is right after a nice hot shower or maybe you just wanna wash it in the sink, nice and hot water, get those pores open. After you're done washing and you've dried and your hair is now damp. So just get the oil in there. Make sure that you're coating all the way deep into those hairs in the middle and you're getting that oil just nice and spread evenly. And then one thing that really helps is once you get the oil in there, just go ahead and get, a, get your comb out again. Go ahead and just comb it in. That, the, let the comb do most of the work for you. Definitely, you wanna get a beard wash, beard conditioner. Nothing too fancy. I mean, we're, we're just trying to keep it clean. We're just trying to keep it hydrated and healthy. 
All right, boys, so that's all I got for you today. Now, if there's any question that you have that we did not touch on here today, please drop us a comment. I will personally respond to it and get you that answer because we are your source for all things long hair, including the hair on your face. All right, homies, I'm El Sicario. See ya! You don't have to be a certified hair genius to have epic long hair. If you want to learn more, come check out our blog. It's sick as f***.